children and welcome to Tuesday's phonics lesson. So to begin this morning I've got some photographs of your fantastic phonics work from yesterday. Fern, Hermione and Samuel you blew me away with all of your phonics learning and it's lovely to see that you are all using your yellow lined book to do your reply part of your phonics. So thank you so much for listening carefully to my videos and for also trying very very hard. I'm so impressed. And I really can't wait for us to get back to school next week and to do all of our phonics together because you're blowing me away. I'm really proud of you. So thank you, Fern. You wrote some lovely sentences in your yellow book yesterday and you did the E sound, sorting them out into different columns. And so did you, Hermione. Hermione's done me four sentences there. And again, you've drawn your table and you've sorted all of the E words. So thank you, Hermione. And Samuel here, you've done the same as Hermione and Fern, listening very carefully. You've drawn your table, put your different spellings of the E sound at the top and you are sorting them out. And it's really lovely to have these photographs, so please keep them in for the rest of this week. Okay, so well done. And before we move on then, you need your whiteboard for today's recap of our phase five phonemes. Because we're going to play phoneme bingo. And we haven't played this for a while, but we've done our flashcards lots and lots of times and we know our phase five sounds now. We're so confident and I'm so excited to come back to school and to move on our learning. But for the rest of this week, our last four days of home learning, we're going to stick with phase five and we're going to do lots of recapping of our sounds and our words. So, phase five phonemes, we'll go through them all together really quickly. Say them with me. A, ow, I. E, oi, er, u, or, w, f, u, o, or, e, a, e, i, o, u. Well done if you kept up with me. So I'd like you to choose 10 phonemes off my board. So pick 10 of these, write them on your whiteboard, spread them all out. And then listen carefully for me to call out a phoneme. If you've got it, circle it or cross it off your whiteboard. And then you need to shout bingo when you've got them all, okay? And send me a photograph of your bingo board with all your sounds crossed off so I can see how you got on at home. And remember, you can also play this game with your friends or your family, whoever's in your house. And you can choose different sounds and you can play bingo with each other. You could take it in turns of being the bingo caller or playing the bingo card, okay? Or you could both do the bingo card and have somebody else to call the phonemes, okay? So well done. If you want to make it more challenging too, you could make them into words. But you could do that at home and let me know how you get on. So by now, 10 phonemes on your whiteboard. If you haven't got them already, pause the video, write them down and then press play when you're ready. Okay, super. First sound then is... W. And remember, some of our sounds have got more than one spelling, okay? So you'd have to cross them all off. Second sound is I. So look for all the spellings of I. An I and an E make I. Split digraph I. I think I've got them all. Next sound, er. What two letters make the er sound? Did you beat me? It and an er make er, like bird. Okay, next one. Oi. Oi. Look for all those different spellings of oi. An o and a y make oi. Do any others make oi? Don't think so, I think I've got them all. Okay, next one. O. 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 O and an F for toe. Any more? R and F split digraph for hole or pole. Okay, next sound is going to be E. E. Got quite a few spellings for E. And an A. Well done if you remember that one. That's always a bit tricky. At an E. Like monkey. Split digraph E. Cross it off. Okay. Anybody got bingo yet? If not, let's carry on. Next sound is going to be or. Or. Next one, A, A, cross them off, there's one there, one there, 
I think that's them all. Now some of you must be winning now at home. If not, there's not many left. What sound are you missing? Shout to type to the TV, shout to type to the phone or the tablet. Is it going to be you, next one? <sighs> What's it off? Putting a hit make <sighs> in our phase five. Okay, next sound. Ow. Ow. Hand it all. Ow. And last but not least, two spellings of this sound. What can you see? Ew. Oh, and a split digraph. Ew. Well done. So we've just gone through all of the phase five phonemes. Hopefully you've all shouted bingo. If not, let me know what sound I've missed off. Sometimes I get some wrong too, or I forget some, but I think we've covered them all there. So well done. So you can wipe your whiteboard clean, ready for our teach. Now our teach today is a little bit different because we're not going to do in any new sounds because we've done all the phase five ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to do tricky words. So this might be a little bit easier because you can do some super reading at home, I know you can, but we need to focus on three words just today. The first word is what? In my pink star, what is the word today? Oh, well done if you're saying O. Oh. So we use the spelling of oh, her for O oh, when we say oh no or oh my goodness me. Okay, so it's O. Oh. Off and a hurt make O. Oh. Over here we've got another tricky word, now a blue star. Now we see this and we read a letter and it says Mr. And we always have a capital M on Mr because it's a title. Okay, so lots of daddies and uncles and granddads, brothers. Okay, our mister, if you get married and you are a mister. And our last word of the day, tricky word, in our green star is a tricky word, could. Now that is quite tricky because we've got an o and an o and an ul in the middle, but we can't really hear those sounds. So it's like other tricky words, look at the word, say what it says, and we don't sound it out. Could. Could I have a drink? Okay, O. Oh. Mr. Could. Say them with me. Oh, Mr. Could. Look at the board carefully. Point to the word that I said. Could. Oh, Mr. Oh, Could. Mr. Well done. Oh, Mr. Cud. Three tricky words for our lesson today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice writing them. So I'd like you to get your whiteboard or use your yellow book and we're going to move the shape, say what word we can see and then we're going to write it down twice. So, are you ready? First one, move the shape. What word can you see? Oh, well done if you're saying oh. O oh and a h. Starting on the line for your o, oh, nice and tall for your h, and we've written o. Oh. Back it have a go one more time. O oh is an o oh and a h. O. Oh. And now it's really important, year one, that your h is nice and tall. So that it doesn't look like a n. Otherwise, it would say on. So up and a h. Make o oh, o. Oh. Tricky words. Take a picture of it in your brain. Remember what it says. O. Oh. Okay. Next word. Are you ready? Move the shape. What word can you see now? Mister. Mister. Capital M for Mister. M and a R. Mr. Have a go for me. Capital M mm, and then an R. Mr. So we've got our two tricky words, O and Mr. So what was our last tricky word of the day? Can you remember? What did we say it was? We gave us the K. Well done if you're saying could. So have a go at writing the word could. Now it's really important that we don't spell it like this. If we sound out the word could, that is what we would write. 
but that isn't correct, is it? It's a tricky word, so we've got to try and remember the spelling. Could, and it's got an R and O and an U in the middle. Have a go at writing it. Curly curl. At the beginning, nice tall U, nice tall D on the line, and we've got the word could. Okay, now we'll do it one more time. What is the word? Could. Okay. Oh, 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 so it's okay to say the sounds as you write the word if it helps you to remember but we don't sound them out when we read them because they are tricky oh mr cut those are our three tricky words for today's phonics okay so if you would like to practice them a little bit more you can do so now thinking really carefully about your handwriting and then for your reply today, so this is the end of our phonics now, I'd like you to have a go at putting our three tricky words into a sentence. Now that can be actually quite tricky itself, because you've got to think about the word, think about when we would use that word, and then you've got to put it into a sentence that makes sense. So make sure you read it back, and if you've missed any words, rub it out or go on the next line and write it again best handwriting. So because we're not doing any new sounds today, we're just focusing on the tricky words, see how many phase five words you can put in your sentence with our words of the day, okay? Take a photograph of your handwriting, take a picture of your phoneme bingo and your practice so I can see how you're getting on and it's a little bit of a different phonics today, but all of this will come together to make us fantastic, even more fantastic. So well done, send me some photographs and I'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday's phonics when we're going to look at three different tricky words. So take care, have a lovely day today and I look forward to seeing all your emails, okay? See you soon!